isn't going to be the normal video by any means. Uh, we are dealing with an epic disaster here in Texas right now. And uh, I just loaded up uh, some firewood that a friend gave me and uh, driving down the road here real quick to look at the lake. I've never seen anything like this in Texas. It's froze all inside the marina here. It's frozen solid. And that is the main lake right there. If you look out there, it, it's frozen across the main lake, a good part of right here. This, you can see it's right there in front. This water's still moving right here, but there's big patches of ice over here. And this is all solid ice right here in the middle. There's still some water that's moving uh, further up to my right, but it's pretty well frozen. And I mean, you can see somebody throw a rock right there. Uh, this is as much snow as I've ever seen at one time uh, in my lifetime. And it's been, colder than I've ever experienced here in Texas uh, that I can ever remember. This bad weather came in on Sunday night and um, we lost power almost uh, immediately. Um, it was about four o'clock in the morning on Monday morning, we lost power and we've been without power um, since 4 a.m. Monday, so basically it's what, two, two and a half days now with no power. And uh, Monday night, it was negative three outside. Uh, I had never experienced negative three weather and it is not cool at all. Um, and it was 22 degrees in my living room. And uh, we got a little bit of firewood here uh, left. I've been burning through any kind of wood that I can get my hands on because that's been our only source of heat. And uh, luckily, uh, yesterday afternoon, I was able to borrow a generator from a friend, uh, a little small generator. And um, I was able to, we've been able to run a couple electric blankets and uh, uh, at least get a, the TV working and get a lamp on and, you know, at least try to stay warm so we could. Uh, get through the the cold so we've been moving the the coffee table here out of the way at night and pushing the couch and the little love seat here uh, way far forward up here where the table is and then we've got this little space heater here running off of the generator and we've got this gymnastics mat down here in the floor that we're kind of pushing up towards the fireplace. That way we can all just kind of get up around there. And uh, we put that space heater down on the end and just get everybody as close to the fireplace as we safely can. And then we've got the extension cords running here out the back door. So out here I have this propane heater that uh, I've been running out here in the garage just kind of in short spurts uh, trying to at one point was trying to keep my water heater thawed with that and then I've been coming out here to cook it's kind of a disaster out here with uh, everything I've got this um, propane cooker here and I've been using that to um, boil water with and um, while we still had propane, I'm, I'm out of propane tanks that fit these, but we were using that to boil water and cook uh, grilled cheese sandwiches and some other stuff. And then I've got a uh, little bitty small propane grill here that I actually use on my boat. We've been using that to cook uh, out here in the garage and kind of heat food up. And then I've been taking, um, I have another little propane heater here and uh, I've been using that and then taking uh, coals from the fireplace and putting them in this metal bucket and uh, laying food on top of the bucket of coals there to warm the food up as much as we can.
So we lost power on Monday morning at 4 a.m. And uh, I tried several times to do some filming with what was going on with the weather and everything else. GoPro batteries were dying. I couldn't keep them charged. Uh, it was several days until I got the, the generator that I was able to uh, at least, you know, run some electric blankets and a little space heater off of. Um, I was having to go outside and try to charge stuff off of my truck. And uh, I just gave up on filming early on, so I'm trying to piece this all together. But we lost power at 4 o'clock Monday morning. Finally got it back on about noon on Friday. And um, our pipes thawed out late Friday night. Uh, I don't know how we managed to not have any pipes break. I, I was prepared for, for a winter storm, but I was not prepared for a winter storm of this magnitude uh, and was not prepared for losing power for five days. And um, I learned some valuable lessons. This was a, a storm like uh, I think Texas has not experienced since the 1890s is what I heard on the weather the other day. Um, I don't know if that's accurate or not. I know that I've never experienced a storm like this in my lifetime, never experienced cold like this in my lifetime. Uh, and I can't remember ever having a situation where we lost power for five days. Um, had we not lost power for that extended period of time, uh, I would have been fine. I was prepared for maybe a day or so, but uh, I learned some valuable lessons through this. And uh, I can say that this will never happen to me again. I will uh, be better prepared next time. And, uh, you know, in terms of being able to, to uh, keep everybody warm and safe and all those things and uh, have all of the right stuff. Uh, we've just been kind of regrouping the last couple of days. Like I said, we got power a couple of days ago. Uh, I had to basically throw every bit of refrigerated and frozen food that we had away because uh, it had already started warming up um, in the afternoons before we finally got power. And uh, we had a lot of food go bad. Pretty much everything we had, um, you know, had to be thrown out. And we've just been kind of trying to clean up all the shrapnel around here from all this madness and uh, spend a lot of time running around trying to help other people out. I've got a lot of friends that had damage, um, different elderly people here that live in the, in the area, just all kinds of bad stuff going on with a lot of people that really need help. So I have been trying to do everything. I'm trying to get this light. I can see that there's a glare on the lens. I've been trying to do everything I can to help as many people as, as possible in this process and through all this. So the big question being that what I do is fishing and fishing videos. I know a lot of you are gonna have questions, especially those of you that live in uh, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana. Uh, the big question is what is this gonna to do to the fishing? And uh, is it gonna screw it up? Is it gonna make it good? And what are the long-term effects gonna be? And uh, there's a lot to that. Um, I was able to get a couple of fishing reports yesterday, was able to go out, look around a little bit today, and um, I have a lot of questions. We've never experienced something like this before. We've experienced cold, um, abnormal cold, but never had a, a lake freeze over uh, to the extent that we've had in this kind of period of, of long-term cold. Uh, so yes, it's going to impact the fish in some. Uh, it's going to kill bait fish. There's going to be a lot of variables to that. Uh, I'll come back and talk about that some more in the coming weeks. Um, so make sure you stay tuned.